Hello all and welcome to Sarah Butchered Lions YouTube channel. Today we've got a lot going on. I'm going to choose the prize winner for the free Eric Lyons giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Um, that's obviously our butchers. Um, 40 quid's worth of free food, so congratulations to one of the people. We'll be doing this at the end um, on this UK free giveaway. Probably the weirdest Sarah giveaway there's ever been. Um, so yeah, lots of nice comments on there. Um, we've got a new side game, which I haven't entered before. I've done a bit of reading up. I've just got back from work. I'm going to try and get this um, squad builder out as well. So we're going to look at a bit of this as well. So it's going to be about a 20 minute video on all things Sarah. Hopefully you'll learn a few things on the way. But before we get into things, please f uh, subscribe. I nearly said follow. Subscribe to me on YouTube. We're nearly up to 800 subscribers, which is great news. Um, follow me on Twitter. We're nearly up to 1,000 uh, tweeters. Um, and then follow me on Sarah. But let's get into it. So, um, game week 250. I didn't have any game week for 249, so that's why I haven't done a video for it. Um, so here we go. Let's go. Go. We always start with, and this is why I always recommend, we start with your Sarah data um, teams because it gives you a little bit of insight into if there's any other injuries about. Um, so we're still in the Champion Europe Cup. Huge news because you can win like a massive reward off this and it's exciting to be fair. So I'm in the round of 32. We have gone quite far. I think if you click into cups here and choose a Sarah Day to cup, it'll tell you how many rounds there's been. So yeah, first round, second round, third round, fourth round, round of a hundred and... No games scheduled for me in that round. And then the round of 64. So there's 64 teams left, I'm guessing. Um, and that's why... It says round of 32. So let's build a lineup and let's win again. And let's keep going further and further because this is quite exciting. And I like the one on one matchups. I do quite enjoy that aspect of Sarah. Um, Monaco have been slacking a bit recently. So I'm going to put Paul Lopez in goal, especially because Hiradeki's got um, Bayern. So Paul Lopez, he's been amazing for me this season. So I was such a, a like reliable goalkeeper has been huge um, we've got Botman as a choice we've got Saleta Sarr as a choice but he has tendencies to get DMPs um, kulabali has got AC Milan but that's at home De has got I mean De Litt looks like the shout here doesn't he um, got a really easy game then so does Botman um, and it's between them two so we're going to go with De Litt, I think Midfield is obviously going to be Pyatt. Um, up front, <coughs> Moussa Derby has Bayern away, but Bayern seem to concede a lot of goals. So I'm always thinking this is a good fixture for Moussa. Usually you'd think, oh, he's got a tough game. But um, I'm thinking to go with Moussa. And the form he's in, is ridiculous, but then Morata has a really easy game, and I do feel Morata could play there. So we're going to stick with the Moose, just with the form he's in. You can't not pick form players, and we've got Pyatt, so we need to pick one more good scoring player. Um, and I think that may be. Um, who would you go for here? In the comments, who would you go for? I think I'm going to go for... I mean, Guedes as well. He's got an easy game, but then hasn't played recently. Do I just go with a safe bet and go with Fabian and go with the team that I always go with? I'm going to make... I think I'm going to make Delit captain. But he might not have much defending to do, and I don't know how... If it's a harder team and he defends well, will he get more points? If it's an easier team, will he not get many points? Let's go with Pyatt as captain. And I'm still debating selling Pyatt, but he seems to be... Uh, Hitting good scores all the time, but they do want to sell them at the top and reinvest. But that's probably for another time. So that is the um, Champion Europe Cup team. We also need to enter the league, uh, 
which I haven't been doing too well in. I think I lost. I think I lost the last two. One, one, lost. Oh no. Uh, wait, yeah, one, two, three. I've lost number three. Oh crikey, this turned around. I was losing this one last time I looked. Match details. I don't know who's pulled this round for me. So that was his team. I had a DMP with Guedes and I was losing, so I don't know who's gone and hit me some in that's helped me win. But that's great news. So I've won uh, a few of them league matches, so we need to enter one more time because it's six out of six now. Um, all right then, so we're going to stick with power and goal. Defenders, I'm looking a bit tight on here. So we've got, we've got Botman and Delit who definitely go in. I think I'm going to have to go with Culler Valley even though it's against AC Milan. And then Saleta Saar is always a DMP worry, but I think he should play and I will be choosing him in a good lineup in my Saraya team. Um, this lad played really well when he came on and he's now match fit and he's supposed to be a good player. So we're going to put him in. I um, still don't know what's going on in Russia. Um, I would lo I, I mean, if he plays, it would definitely go Szymanski, and I think he does. But I just, I don't know. I just, the Russian thing is very, very strange at the moment. Screw you, Pro Putin. Joker. Someone needs to assassinate him. But we're not going to get into politi <laughs> politics. Let's just carry on with Sarah. That's why we're here. Forget about the world. So, Fabian's going to pop in there as well. And... Um, Yazici, but then he might be leaving. I just don't know what's going on with the Russian Premier League. But I'm going to have to go with Sosminski. Just because if he plays, he will get a good score. Araujo got injured in his first game for four weeks. That's a disaster. I've had to buy another MLS player, which we're going to get onto in a minute. Um, I've kept Xerxes for the timing. I plan to sell him, but he had an easy game. So I'm going to pick him, and I'm going to pick the Moose up front. I'm going to captain... Actually, I'm going to captain this lad, Moreno. Um, and then we need to pick our other players. So we're going to go with Johnson in goal. Actually, yeah, we'll go with Johnson in goal. Uh, Dejuan Jones? How are they both sixth? Surely that's a bit of a glitch, unless they haven't can't read goal difference on here um, sub midfielder can be Guedes he's got to play I don't know why he didn't play last week or something let me down for a reward he got a DMP confusing um, and then we're going to go with Morata and then that will be the Sarad data lineup so we're going to head on to the the next most important thing, and I'm going to clear all the teams, I'm going to go through them one by one. If you didn't know already, there's a rather big special weekly that I'm going to be able to enter. But I'm not going to make this my priority, because we've got to look into the prize pools to start with. Basically, the top 100 out of 8,600 are going to get a rare and above. I don't really care for limiteds, but then I suppose a tier 1... Oh, they're all tier 3 limiteds. So actually, yeah... Unless you get, like, the top 15, the reward's not going to be as good as where I'd usually enter. So I'm going to throw away some players in here, but then I'll probably still have a very good chance of a reward. Um, it's good to see as well they're mixing it up and giving people a chance who have recently joined Sarare to win a fairly big um, reward. So that's going to be our throwaway team. We've got our main teams. So um, let's look at the prize pools. Uh, let's see how many entries we've got. Let's see where we're going to attack the most. So we've got 1,688 in Champion Europe, 250 prizes. That's good, good uh, possibility of reward there. Um, under 23 is about the same, but they've got more entries. You can probably win better players in Champion Europe. Well, you have better chance. I'll pro I probably have a better chance to head there. Um, and then under 23, Red Pro has 50, we well, champion Red Pro, because that's where I'll throw my other team. And then what does All-Star have? 600. Whoosh! That's good Good numbers. Getting better, getting better. Um, okay, so champion Europe looks like my first priority here. So we're going to put Paolo Lopez in goal. Um, 
FC. I've got De Litt and Botman, but I want to play them in my under-23s. And I feel I feel like Siletasa will play. And I feel like to win a reward, I need a clean sheet from Marseille, and that would double stack them together. So I'm going to go with Pop, uh, Paolo Lopez and Siletasa. We're going to pop in Paya. This is an interesting one. I'm half tempted to go with Morata here. Um, but they do now have three strikers. They have that Vlahovic they've just signed. And they have Moise Keane. And they do swap and change them. But Morata has a 7.5%. And I want to keep Moose for my under 23s. So I'm going to put Morata in as strange as it seems. Um, and then the last player will probably be Fabian. He probably has the best chance of hitting... I mean, he hasn't been playing so, so well since he's come back. Is Colour Bally with 10% going to be better than Fabian? I feel like he's going to be doing a lot of defending against AC Milan. We're going to go for it. We're going to, we're going to run that team. It'll be interesting to see how that performs, but that I feel it's strong enough to hit a reward, that. Uh, under 23 will be my next strongest, but I've got an idea here. I'm going to play a lot of my Russian under 23s in this lineup. So if it goes tits up and they don't play, the whole lineup is not affected because all of them go tits up. So I'm not going to play De Litt, who's my favourite. I'm going to probably put. Mm, I'm probably going to put Botman in. Uh, actually, no, I can use Igor Deviv. So we're going to run with a bit of a Russian lineup here. Zakarin, Slazminski. And then. I might play the Xerxes in this lineup, but then I really feel he's going to score against these lot. So I've actually got a lot of good under 23 forwards. We've got Diaby, Malin, Osman, and Xerxes. And this is sort of like, sort of a throwaway because I don't know if they're all going to play. But I think they are all going to because of what's going on. So do I choose? A, I'm going to go with Xerxes. And it's a bit of a pop shot. But that team, if they all play has a very, very good chance. If it, if one of them gets a DMP, I'm not too fussed because the whole, it's all going to be confusing. I'm not confident about any of these four playing with what's going on. So we're going to leave that as it, as it is. Um, and then we're going to make this one the more serious one. So we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with Costa in goal, even though I think Okoye has a better chance of getting a better score. But he obviously has the XP bonus now. So we're going to go with Costa, Delit. The super rare, I'm half tempted to go with Elmas, but he's played a lot recently, and I think all their, their normal players are coming back, and I don't feel dropped to the bench. But I don't really have much else here. Under hasn't been performing as well recently. I feel like they might put a bit more of a defensive line up there. So I think to win this, I'm going to have to put my super rare Elmas in. I'm saving my Tyler Wolf because I've done something with the MLS I'll show you in a minute. Um... And then the Moose has got to go in there. And I've got to pick another decent player, which I think will be Botman. So I'm liking this lineup. Um, it all depends if Elmas plays, I can get in a goal or assist. Um, but yeah, it, look, it looks strong. The rares look strong. I think a lot comes down to what Elmas does. Uh, so that's three good lineups. <clears throat> We're going to head next into the American division, which is new to us. Um, and we can't enter, I'll show you why, the normal Americans. We're going to have to go into American Pro. Let's have a quick, have a quick look at the... Oh, they don't even do Tier 3s. Why is that? Oh, because... Oh, sorry. Because we're going into Pro, not... They do Tier 3s there. That's why the prize pool's bigger. Um, but... But, 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 but... This lineup looks decent. So, what happened is... I would have had Johnson, Pines, Jones, Moreno, and Araujo. But Araujo pulled his hamstring 30 minutes into the game after scoring. So that's really affected me. I don't have any more ETH. So I've gone out and used some ETH. I'm picking up another defender. Uh, so this is going to be my American Rare Pro Team. I'm going to have Johnson in goal. I went up and picked this Tolkien card up. Because he's got a great XP bonus. He's young. Um, and he's going to be the starting left back. And a lot of people were raving about him. So I did a bit of research on him. Moreno's going to go in. 
Tyler Wolf, which was a super rare picked about four months ago. I just saw he was young. He has a chance of playing in the MLS. Picked him up for really cheap, and now he's started. He's exploded in price. So we're going to play Tyler Wolf. He also plays in the team that Arousia got injured in, so I'm hoping he's definitely going to start like he did last game. And then my only other starting player is Dijuan Jones. I don't know what's going on with this lad. He's just going to have to sit there and wait. So again, a bit of a shot or nothing. Don't know much about the MLS, but that's that team. And then the last... Well, we should be able to squeeze two more teams out here. My all-star team, which we're going to throw in Herodeki because I just want to hit Eve in this. Um, I need a defender who's going to play... Which mm, actually no, we're gonna we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna go to special weekly because this is gonna be harder to field a team out. All right, these are the two goalkeepers I have available. I'm gonna go with a Kane goal. I'm gonna go with Sertel because these have to be under 45 average scores. He's probably got the most chance of playing. Um, this one's tough. Chong's just coming back. Don't think he'll start for my favourite team, Birmingham City. Salamakers no. Elmas. Maybe, and then under maybe. Who would you choose? I think the best chance... Elmas has been playing really well recently. Um, we're going to go with under. He's going to come off the bench at least, I think. Oh, sugar. Okay, well, Weya has to be the striker. Because I have no others and Cherky's out. So let's hope he plays. They're playing a bad team. So hopefully he hits a bit of form again. He's been injured, so he's just come back from injury. So they might see this as a game to bring him on. Um, and then the last but not least, I just need a player who's going to play. So I am looking short here. That's going to have to be the Elmas card. We're going to captain the Sertel as a bit of a shot. He always performs well at home. <laughs> it's a bit of a standing joke. And then the rare team, which I just want to hit ETH with. So we've got a lot of teams going out here. And we're squeezing good teams out as well, which is decent. Ibanez is still out. Pines is not in favour. He's soon back, and he can score like a monster, but I'm waiting for him to get back. Uh, Tellers, I don't know what's going on with Man U again. Modelo and Matellas are a master. Ibanez is still injured, so Daviv's the only one that I know is probably going to play. I've got my best chat. Oh, did Fabian not go in anywhere? Okay, Fabian's 100% in. Malin's in. Um, and then I've got Osserman, Millet, Guedes. Uh, Teleses, Chongs. We're going to pop in our Guedes, I think. And that looks like a solid team. I'm going to actually make Guedes captain. Um, and yeah, we're going to throw that out. That, that should hit the ETH threshold as well. So they're all strong, strong teams. Casual, we're going to throw in a team here. Um, Lafon, Doeki, but now I've got Saliba, he could be quite useful. Um, yeah, let's go with Doeki, Tony Cruz. He actually saw a tweet earlier that he might be out. This lad's scoring well. We'll go with him. We'll go with Salah. And we'll go with... Oh, Jesus, he had a big score. He could be in a bit of form, so we'll go with that. Um, we'll go with Salah Captain. Woo! Lots of teams, baby! All right. Um, where are we heading to next? We're heading to Sorare Academy next. Didn't even look how I got on last week. That's how I got on. Big Verge let me down, really. Um... Lots of huge scores though, 478 would have won it. A lot of the same teams, Courtois, Sule, Kimmich, Pafé, Messi. Guessing they're all the same teams, but they're now pay down to 15th place. So get your teams in. Again, I said more and more people would enter this as we move on. Um, all right, what are we doing here then? So, we have found out I'm going to go with Pal, because then I just know if they keep a clean sheet, um, we're just going to go all in on Pal Lopez as the keeper in most of our teams. Um, who's got easy games? This lad always scores well. We're going to go with him. Midfielder, we're going to pop in. Kimmich just on fire, but then I hope Leverkusen causes him a bit of trouble. De Bruyne will probably play against Manu. Manu are an iffy side and probably he'll probably will bang. 
Um, Parejo always scores well. You need someone who can score 100. I don't know if Tony's available. Tonali scored well there. Um, I'll tell you what. Bayer Leverkusen defence is awful. We're going to go with... Um, I'll tell you who we're going to go with up front. We're going to definitely go with Lewandowski. And we're definitely going to go with Muller. I feel that... Oh, is he injured? Oh, we're going to go with it anyway. Sod it. And then midfield, I'm going to go with Kimmich. Uh, I've just gone completely against Leverkusen. I don't know what's wrong with them, but I reckon this is going to be a high-scoring team. Let's hope Muller's free. Maybe we change it up and put in Messi now he's on, in form. Or Mbappe. Yeah, let's put Mbappe in. He's usually solid. I'm going to make Lewandowski captain, actually. All right, that's that team. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. I need to put my training teams in there. Then we've got Captain Sorare. I've got Sorare Mega as well. Jesus. Um, captain Sorare is completely new. I don't know what I'm doing. We've got training. They only allow a thousand participants, so rare champions. I've got rare players. My lineup: Premier League, Spanish, so all, and then games. 186. Okay. Let's just add a team and see what happens. Does it say like? Prizes or anything. I know that you can win cards. Select your captain. He's free and build your lineup. Respect your budget. Choose the ten other players with only one condition. You can't go above the budget. So I've got my team here. I'm gonna make delete go in. Select captain position defender. We're going to go with Delit as captain. Confirm. Your remaining budget is 550 quid. Crikey. So 550 divided by 10 is 50. So I've got 55 to spend. So I don't want to spend much on a keeper, do I really? Oh, pal. There he is. Let's get him in. Defender. We need a cheapish defender. This is interesting. This. So you've got to have your your card as the scoring card. And if that's the case, yeah, we're just going to leave it. Delete. I don't. I don't even know what happens here. Um. Can you type? Can you search? Yeah, you can search here. You can go Premier League. Maximum price 40. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You can only have clubs that are signed up to so rare. Um oh, let's just let's just stack it with Napoli and make this easy. Now I've said that. <laughs> Here I am searching the market for cheap players. Um, I mean, if I was going to do this again, this could end up being like an hour choosing teams. I want us to choose them correctly because we're going to have to start picking lineups that are easy, like that, um, and like that. Wait, what? Just pick one at a time. Oh, for God's sake! Confirm, confirm. Who was the other one that I was going to pick? So let us start. Yeah, so this is all a good idea, but this is now taking up a lot of my time <laughs> to put in all of these entries. Um, as long as I can win a card, I suppose it's worth it, but I, I have other work to do. I have to hit the gym. I'm going out for a meal tonight. I've got, I've got a lot to do, and this is now <laughs> turning into a bit of a Bit of a time-consuming job. Bundesliga. One. I'm going to go with him. Oh, I don't even know what's going on here. 
I think I've still got a match. How much more? How much money have I got? How much more can you get for this? Well, I had him ages ago. It'd be interesting to see how he's getting on, actually. Oh, this is painful, man. If I was sitting here not having to do anything else, I'd be quite consistent. Let me know in the comments if you're still here if I should do this on YouTube video and if you're interested or not. Um, because I am struggling, really, chaps, to be quite honest with you. Why? Oh, Kimmich is there. He's $87. How much money do I... Oh my god, I don't have much money left. <sighs> to like, search this and... S Why can't I get rid of this now? Alright, I need one good striker. We're going to go with Sane. Oh no, we're going to go lower. How much money? Ooh, so we've got about $50 each card. So I'm going to choose a cheap person here. This lad's playing well for Bayern Leverkusen, at the moment, but they're going to concede a lot of goals. Can you choose everything? Oh. Where did he go? I mean, whoop, whoop. Bundesliga. No, I just looked in the Bundesliga. Didn't I? Syria midfielders. Oh my God, is that all there is for the budget of thirty? Jesus, yeah, this goes into bad players once you hit the 30 quid budget, man. Let's just put this lad in. This is getting tough. <coughs> Anyone? Oh, I mean, I'm guessing this is the last, yeah, last five. None of them play. Even to the $50 mark, none of them play. I just need players who are going to play here. 40%, 40%, 40%. Oh my good lord, this is tough. This is real tough. Syria. He's not going to play. He's not going to play. He's not going to play. 20% of games played. This is a, oh, I'm on page two. Oh, this is so painful. Right, I've sold Ariel, but he's going in in this team. Oh my god, my brain. Stindle, no, twenty percent. What's going on? What is going on here? This is still page one. This Ravella lad's supposed to be good. I don't know if he's injured. I don't care. Seventy dollars for another forward. Spend the mat. Let's spend a lot on it. This guy looks decent. Die born is always injured. <sighs> right, the lineup saved. The lineup's in. That's that's all I'm doing. We'll we'll, we'll review this. <laughs> When we um, yeah, it's in. Okay, that's all right. We'll review what happens in a review video, and then my mega teams. Crikey, we're just going to throw these out. We're going to throw these out as quick as possible because my brain hurts, and we're still going to have to do the giveaway, which is exciting. Xerxes, I'm just going to go Xerxes delete and. Minsky. Mega League um, 5. It's not all fun and games, chaps. <laughs> As you can see. Um, Botman. Pyre. Fabian. Moose. Pyre Captain. I don't care if they're wearing anything because... I'm going to have to start taking this more seriously, but I need to calm my life down if I'm going to take more time on this. Um, Colour Ballet. Sidel. Singiz. 
Good days, a Creon. No, we're going to change things under that. It's a Master Moreno. Um, Victor, Marato, and then Mega Eleven. Go with Costa. Tolkien, the new boy, David, Douche. Uh, oh, Jones, hiding there. Um, under Yazichi, Demobi, Malin, Milik, Wolf. All right, dice it time. Dice it time. 97. Xerxes. Hat trick. There we are. Right. That is that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Subscribe. It's time to do the prize draw. Um, it's a small pool, chaps. You have a pretty good chance of winning a nice um, voucher. Um, if you don't win the voucher, feel free to head over and order something online. We are the best of the best. You won't get anything bad. The steaks, the pies, blah de blah de blah This is what you could win. £40 worth of foodie goodies. So, I've got some stew and dumplings in the oven, actually. I need to double check. They're not burning. Oh. No, they're all good. They're all good. Right, time. Well, I'm disappointed with Hybe. Why throw away the trust you have made in the community for a quick buck? He isn't the worst of them. That's new and right. On Sunday, he came to Discord and saw how pissed off people were rather than apologize to show remorse and decided to do an AMA where he proceeded to show his arrogance and rub it in everyone's faces. After the announcements, oh, and a favorite food, Yorkshire pudding, good egg. All right, so. How many entries? I think there's about 28. There's not a huge amount. And I'm not too sure <laughs> how, um, if some of these live in England. Again, I'm being a bit judgmental here, but with some names like this and a comment like that, Iskender Kebab. Don't know what that, I don't know what food that is. Also, someone said human balls, so that's interesting. Good meaty burger, fillet steak, um, German Kebab. Wait, maybe, do I not know what the kebab is, or is that supposed to say kebab? Very interesting. Zeppelin, Lithuanian dish, very, very tasty, you should try it. Hmm, maybe I should, that sounds nice. Hello, awesome video, my friend signed up to uh, using my link. If he was to buy five different cards at £5, would he then get a wood? Yes. But, he should be able to buy yeah, basically, if you buy a load of crappy cards, you get a crappy reward, and I think they go higher as they go on. Um, I'm lucky with the Super Chikorita school in the last minute to wipe out the clean sheet for your keeper. Ah, that's frustrating. Okay! We're going to close my eyes. We're going to scroll up and down, um, and we're going to see where... We land. No, we're just going to hold this and go up and down. So, three, two, one. We're going to scroll up and down. And we're going to land here. So, the mouse is here. So, it looks like Ray... Ray Gudjian. Meat, meat, and when I finish, more meat. A deserving winner, young man. A deserving winner. Um, no, I won't let him know he's won. We'll see if he actually gets up to the end of this video and then I'll message him. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if he's watched the way. So congratulations, Ray Gudjian. You have won a £40 voucher for Eric Lyons. If you live in the UK, you can get delivery wherever you um, live. If you're international, you can't. So give the code back and I'll give it to Gucci Jan instead. And if you don't put an order in within a week, I'll give it to Gucci Jan as well. So um, that concludes... Have a great weekend. Hope you all hit some rewards. Um, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter. Please follow me on Sarah. Peace out.